Okay, yeah, the last lesson we learned about looking at the equation and being able to just kind of quickly sketch in the graph. So if I were to do that with this graph here, um, I see that my leading coefficient is negative and it is odd and it is a degree 3. Um, since it is negative, that means I'm going to end coming down. Since it is odd, means I'm going to enter from the uh, positive side. And since it's degree 3, I'm going to come down 1, 2, and I have 3 changes of directions. So my graph, when I'm done, should look something of that creature. Right now, we don't really know how to attack this thing other than by guessing and checking. And so that's how we're going to attack it. So I've come up with a table here, and I've just put some values in it. Um, I know since this is a textbook type problem that we're going to be pretty close to the origin. So I started at negative 4 and just counted going up until I got to 3. And we can add some more later if we need to. So if I start with negative 4, that's going to be a negative. Negative 4 cubed minus 4 times negative 4 squared plus 5. So then I probably want to grab my calculator. Then the first thing to do is to take the negative 4 and cube it. And whenever I take negative 4 and cube it, I get a negative 64 uh, with a negative on the outside. So that's a negative negative 64. And then I'm going to take a negative 4 times uh, negative 4 squared. Negative 4 squared is 16, positive 16, times another 4, which makes it cubed again. So that's going to be a minus 64 here, plus 5. And this double negative on the front makes that into actually a plus 64. So I've got positive 64 minus 64 plus 5. So the positive 64 minus 64 would drop out, leaving just a 5. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is do the negative 3 and see where that leaves me. So that would be a negative, negative 3 cubed, minus 4 times negative 3 squared, plus 5. So negative 3 cubed is negative 3 times negative 3, which is a positive 9, times a negative or negative 3, which makes it a negative 27. With a negative on front, makes it a positive 27 there. And then I've got my negative 3 squared, which is a positive 9. Positive 9 um, times negative 4 would be a negative 36. And then I'm going to add 5 to that. So if I take the 27 plus 5, that's actually a 30... Um, 32 minus 36, which would make that a negative 4. Moving down to the next number. And I plug in my negative 2 into this, so that's a negative, negative 2 cubed, minus 4 times negative 2 squared, plus 5. Negative 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. And then I've got my double negatives, so that's a positive 8 minus, so negative 2 squared is a positive 4, positive 4 times a negative 4 is a negative 16, and then plus 5. So then I, again I take my 5 and my 8 and I get a 13 minus 16, which gives me a negative 3. And then I'm going to fill in my negative 1, so that's negative, negative 1 cubed, minus 4 times negative 1 squared plus 5. So this first part is a positive 1. And then I'm going to have a minus 4 plus 5. So that's going to be a 1 plus 5 is 6 minus 4. So that's a positive 2 at that point. And I'm going to keep working my way through this equation. Fill in the 0. So 0 minus 0, that's just 5. So I'm back at my 5 again. I hope you followed that 0. I mean, if you plug 0 in and cube it, you get 0. And then if you take 4 times 0, you get 0. So those first two terms just drop out, leaving just the 5. Then I'm going to fill in my 1. So negative 1 cubed minus 4 times 1 plus 5. Well, this is now a negative 1 here. And then minus 4 plus 5, which would make that a minus 5 plus 5 or a 0. I'm going to start plotting these points and see where I'm at. So if I'm at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I am at that point there. At negative 3, I'm at negative 4. 
I am down here. At negative 2, I'm at negative 3. At negative 1, I'm back up at 2. I'm at 0, I'm at 5. At 1, I'm at 0. And you can kind of see that I'm sketching in. If I'd be coming in here, I'd be changing directions, and I'd be coming back down here. So hopefully my numbers the rest of the time end up negative. So filling in, so that's a negative 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 squared plus 5. So that's going to be a negative 8 minus um, 4 times 4 is 16 plus 5. So that would be a negative 24 plus 5 which would put me at a negative 19, and I'm just going to get further and further negative at that point. And I do, in fact, get a graph, like I was guessing, where I am, um, as x is going to the left, my y is getting very big, and as x is going to the right, my y is getting very small. It's an odd degree, and they should be going in opposite directions and it's a negative leading coefficient, so I should be going down at the end.